Okay, folks, so we're going to look at a nuclear physics question. This will cover the nuclear atom, so it will mainly cover your knowledge of things like isotopes and nuclear decay, radioactive decay. It's a six-mark question. You normally get these at the end of your theory paper. So we'll just read it for it now. It says, strontium-90 is a radioactive element that emits beta particles as it decays. The nuclear equation below is shown shows this decay. And so we've got strontium decays into a mystery element and the beta particle there. Now they've been quite kind because they've already said that the beta particle is an electron and they've already given you the values for those electrons that the mass is zero and that the proton number is minus one. So that's quite nice that they've already given you that. And it's asking you to calculate the value of A and the value of B. So if I just write it out again here, we can see we've got 90 on the top, we've got zero for X. So 90 goes to something plus zero. So on the top, A has to be 90 as well. The value on the top has to be the same. So the value on this side has to be the same as the value on the right hand side. Okay, and we have to do the same for the bottom for the proton number. So for this, we've got 38 becomes whatever B is plus minus one. So whatever B is, you've got to add minus one to it to get 38. So B would have to be, hey, hey B would have to be 39. Because 39 plus minus 1 equals 38. So B is 39. So this is the nucleon number. And that's how many protons and neutrons there are. And this is the proton number. Okay, so the proton number just tells you how many protons there are. It also tells you what the element is going to be as well. And the nucleon number just tells you the total number of protons and neutrons. So it essentially tells you the mass of the atom. Okay, so tick the element from the list below that is produced by this decay. So we're looking for proton number of 13,5, and it's yttrium, which I can never pronounce properly, so please correct me in the comments. I probably made a mistake there. Anyway, but yeah, most importantly, I got the answer right, so 39. If you're unsure of this as well and you don't have a question like this, you can check your value sometimes at the back of paper 4 or paper 3, because it will have a periodic table there for the chemistry question. So just remember that if you've got a nuclear physics question, you've still got the periodic table at the back. Okay, so then it says the isotope ABX is also radioactive and undergoes beta decay. State the name of the element that is produced by this decay. Okay, so in this case, we're not going, we, you don't need to do the calculation, but we're going to do it. So the isotope X has a mass of 90. It has a proton number of 39. So that we'll still label it as X. We know what it is. It undergoes beta decay. So if it undergoes beta decay, we have a mystery element here with a mass of 90. And we know that just like before, the proton number needs to be 40 in order for it to undergo beta decay because we've got a proton number of minus one there. So this side adds up to 39 and so zirconium. So all we have to do, we don't put a tick there. That's our answer. But I'm not gonna put a tick there because that's gonna confuse the examiner, but we're looking for something with a proton number of 40. So I'm just gonna state Zirconium. There we go. And that's the answer. Okay. And then it says these nuclei, free nuclei are represented as X, Y, and Z. X has a mass of 83 and a proton number of 42. Y has a mass of 209 and a proton number of 83. And Z has a mass of 84 and a proton number of 42. State and explain which nuclei are isotopes of the same element. So it's two marks. So we need to basically give our answer, that's the state, which are two are the same, and then we need to explain why for the second mark. So for your first mark, you need to say X and Z 
are isotopes. And the reason is because they have the same proton number. You don't need to state it, but I'm just putting it here, 42. Okay, or you could say something like they have the same number of protons in the um, in the nucleus, or they have forty two protons. The other one has eighty three. So as long as you're explaining why you've made that choice, so two marks there. That should take up the whole line there. I've taken up a little bit more space to make it clearer, but you should be able to fit that in quite nicely on the lines that they've given you. And that's a six mark question for nuclear physics.